Welcome to Minds Rising Spirits Tuning. My name is Defne Ayas and I'm joined here by my co-artistic director Natasha Jinwala of the 13th Guangzhou Biennale. We're now in Guangzhou and have finished our installation and would love to give you a tour of what we have manifested so far. It's been a long journey. It's been a two-year journey in the making together with 69 artists um, and more than 40 thinkers who've joined us in different capacities to co-think and deepen our curatorial inquiry. We are here to share with you our exhibition in the Biennale Hall, which is a meta score of five chapters and, um, and share with you also glimpses of the 40 new commissions that we were able to enable over this period. Minds rising, spirits tuning evokes the dialectics of intelligence in different ways, challenges that dialectics of organic and inorganic intelligence, the entwinement of the body-mind, which is seen across Asian visual cultures and philosophy. It also engages deeply with forms of solidarity building, not only from the 40th anniversary of the Guangzhou uprising, recollecting the struggles and the continued trauma that is embedded here, but very much also through global alliances that are shaping the world today and that are also resonant with ruptures. Here we have Rising Together, which is a title for this gallery. We have works that anchor the Biennale. We're in the ground floor right now. And in fact, this, all of the spatial design is done um, together with Diogo Passarino, Berlin-based architect, together with us and our team. We've been thinking closely with all of the artistic works, with their intuitive capacities, with their spatial capacities. And it has been really a year of being away from this site, remotely working and imagining how to situate the works here and then rapidly coming here and spending time on site. So the works that we have here are, we're going to try to make them into constellations that we address together with you. And here, what you see with us now are works that include historical artifacts from the Gahue Minwak Museum Collection and the Shamanism Museum Collection in Seoul. They populate various spheres of the Biennale Hall, starting with stone amulets um, that guide, protect, that really anchor also as symbols and emblems together with the paintings of master artist Min Jung Ki. We have new commissions that include representation of the Mudung San Mountain. We have here behind us the work of Uti Pieski, Sami artist and activist that is in fact called Bevit, Rising Together Two. It is a work that is made with Sami women and it represents the spirit of collectivity We'll further be walking through the galleries and introducing you to the next constellation. So it was really important for us to actually look at the spectrum of intelligence with minds rising. So intelligence, the organic intelligence as you draw it from indigenous cultures, from countryside ritual systems, from communal forms of matriarchal um, cultures and contrast, but also create this dialectical space also in our understanding of where we are with our co-evolution with inorganic intelligence, with neural networks, with algorithmic regimes, with artificial intelligence and so forth. So all these elements come together and laid out in a spatial grammar in our ground floor, which we made also free to uh, public. It's also here to be used as a social space despite the pandemic conditions in Korea. Actually, there is still capacity for social gatherings, um, even though the rules are changing on a daily basis. Um, so we would like to now take you through some of the elements in our ground floor to lay out what we've set out for the rest of the exhibition. Behind me is the artistic project of Moon Kyung Won, Promise Park in Guangzhou. It is a project that she has been manifesting in different iterations. It, it, it belongs to her continued interest in looking at the social potential of art, the social potential of gatherings and communality. She also studies the urban topography and terrain, very much thinking about the history of the Guangzhou Biennale Hall, as well as the surrounding park 
in Guangzhou. So this is really a work that, again, anchors the ground floor. It's a space that's going to be an interdisciplinary one. She's going to invite experts from the field of neuroscience, history, um, and scientists as well, together really thinking about how the social and the geographic determine our worldview. This carpet is going to be there for an active site. It has already been, let's say, anointed um, through John Kwan Sunim with a tea ceremony and blessing while we had the procession. This is really all teamwork. We were introduced to the artist through our associate curator, Juwan Park, and the procession led by Davide Quadrio and the team really running through this space with drummers, with kids doing taekwondo. So all of these works have been animated in a vibrant sense, a kind of vibrant intelligence spinning through the galleries. Behind me you have the work of Gap Chuli, senior photographer who has been shown in several parts of the world, also very, very much grounded in Korea, traveling through the Korean peninsula, through rural parts of the, of the country, in the islands, looking at religious and cosmological aspects of Korean life, often those that belong to minority cultures that have been suppressed, that have been erased through colonization. You have almost every religion that is represented in his paintings. And he talks about how energy lies at the core of making photographs. On our ground floor, we're not only looking at commemorative aesthetics and sacred emblems, but also virtual terrains and forms of gatherness. So here we have John Gerard's intensive engagement with neural networks in which he is reviving uh, figures from pre-Christian Celtic um, pagan times to address a spatial logic, um, create a spatial logic that's addressing ecological precarity. Um, here we have a work of Anna Maria Milan who is um, with her virtual world building exercises is looking at, um, with her feminist practice as well, looking at um, gender precarity, but also state-induced military uh, violence as in, in animation form that works as a space for creating meaning for her artistic practice that's supplemented on a number of augmented um, readings we're offering throughout the exhibition, uh, such as the Anatomy of AI System by Vladan Jolar and Kate Crawford. Um, and then we're arriving here to uh, Sang Dong Kim's work, which is created for the procession um, that we have um, organized to enable um, the artworks in our exhibition to look at the space between what is living, what is dead, um, he's an artist we've engaged early on, um, Seoul-based, um, very much invested in the Korean shamanistic uh, vocabulary, also as a way to revive uh, anti-systemic uh, kinship. Um, his, he has a biting satire also for um, hyper-consumption circuits and this hyper-capitalistic environment Korea is operating in. Um, he will be joining us throughout the exhibition with several other works, as well as our um, external venue, Yangnam Mountain. And the work is co-joined uh, by um, Angela Plessis' work, um, who is doing a second iteration of the Nosphere Society, uh, where he is addressing um, aspects of shamanism vis-a-vis -vis the cyberspace. So he's looking at forms of togetherness in this age of um, cyber shamanism as well. Um, he has also created works that are used in the procession and you will also see later his big installation.